up of them or oh, but John said that it may be my sons have sinned the sons of what have sinned no it's all right to celebrate your birthday sons have sinned so as a result of their sinning Job had to give offering. This is how you atone for your sins back at that time. So it was a sin to celebrate your birthday. But I want to tell you what the Most High done as a punishment for when they done this. Read uh, to this 19. 19. Verse 19. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house. And it fell upon the young men and they died. And they what? And they are dead, and I, and only I, am escaped alone to tell thee. So as a result of that, the Most High put them to death for celebrating their birthday. So these are things which the Most High takes seriously. That's why I'm bringing out these lawsuits, because I want to save your soul, sister. I don't want you to put this destruction coming on this earth. And it's time for the Blacks and Hispanics to wake up and realize you are the Israelites. We're not niggers, we're not black, we're not average, we are a peculiar people. Read 1 Peter 2 and 9. You can ask me, because ask me, come on, because I'm dealing with you, I'm dealing with you. Yes. Right, so, let's, let's, what I like to do is to deal with the individual. What you have to do is sort yourself out, so if you tell this, Make sure you read that flyer, okay? Make sure you read it, alright? So what you gotta do is yeah, is make sure. Wait, make sure what, what you gotta do is make sure you get yourself right. Okay, because what the Bible says is about change. That's why we read that scripture about repent. Because you are gonna be the exact we get that um get um Judah 8 and 24 in the top of that. Judah. Because if you're doing something wrong, not according to the law, and you say to someone, look, I saw this brother speaking. And they were doing this, doing that, and they said, okay, what about you? Where's your dress? Where's your fringes? Where's, why are you celebrating your birthday? Why are you still eating crab and lobster? They're not going to look at you and say, oh, that's a good example. That's the one I want to be like. So you've got to focus on getting yourself right. Because everything's going to be there for you. Once you repent, the Lord will bring everything your way. Do you understand this? Because it's our iniquities that have separated us from the Lord. Okay? Read that. The book of Judah, chapter 8, verse 24. Now, therefore, O brethren, let us show an example to our brethren because their hearts depend on up, upon us. So you have to show an example to not just the younger women but everyone around you. Because they're going to look at you now and say, okay, that sister is a sister that's keeping God's commandments. That's a sister who I can follow. That's a sister I want to be like. But it's not just a matter of saying, well, look, there's some guys in the corner, go and watch them. They're going to watch you. So it all starts with you and you repentance. Okay? Um, get me uh, Isaiah 59 and verse. One and two. Because what I'm trying to tell you is that because we sin, that's what has separated us from the Most High. For you to get back to the Most High, you need to come back and keep His commandments. So understand? Read. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. So the Lord at any time, if He wants, He can save us. He can get rid of all the people that hate us. He can get us all in order if He wants. So He can do that, but He's waiting for something. Read. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. So he can hear our afflictions. He saw all this happen. The slave trade, all of this stuff, the first image of Christ. He can see these things. Read. But your iniquities have separated our what? Your iniquity. Our sins. Our sins. Iniquities, in other words, the sin have done what? Have separated between you and your God. That's what's happened to us. That has what's happened. That's why we're in the position we're in today. Because we separate ourselves by sinning. So we must repent. So, I'm going to give you some more commandments. You see these things at the bottom of my shirt? Sis, sis, sis. Pay attention, this is important. Sis, this is very important, sis. Pay attention. That's the thing, our people got a short attention span. That's why I'm trying to engage you. Anyways, so sis, dress code, dress code. Do you, have, do you know that as an Israelite sister, you have a certain dress code you have to now adopt? No. Let's start with Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. You know? when, when, when you're listening to the scriptures right now, if you have a head covering, you'll cover it while the scriptures are coming out. Yeah? But this is a commandment for how we should dress. And it gives the main instructions as well. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. 
The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You knew that straight away. I didn't. She knew that straight away. What is a man's garment that a woman? So what is a woman's garment that a man should wear? Debatable. This, this culturally will be destroyed. Don't listen to culture. Listen to God, sis. Listen to the word of God. We, one more time for you, sis. Today, nice and slow. Read. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Right, I'll say it for you. A, a woman's garment a man can't wear is a dress. A dress. Like, let me give you a question. Is there a male dress? You have to think about this. There is no male dress. Men wear pants. Women should wear bodice dresses. That's the order. So sis, you've got to dress in a modest dress. Yeah? So we've got a few commandments. You can't eat pork. You can't eat crab. Right? And what else? What else have you got? Birthdays. And I know that's going to be hard. I know your, 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 your family is going to be, hey, what's your name Hey Maureen, come round, we got a birthday party. You're going to say, no, I'm keeping God's commandments. That's, That's right. what you're supposed to do. So sis, it's, it's change, it's going to take time. If I get us to what, 17, 25. Because you're going to do it step by step. You're not going to just all of a sudden keep all the commandments and be perfect. Because all of us are striving. All of us are getting things right. But we're saying to you sis, you have to take action. But this is how we do it. Read. 17, 25. The book of Sarah, chapter 17, verse 25. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sin. So you've got to return unto the Lord, forsake your birthday, forsake the pants, forsake crap, lobster, pork. Forsake the sins, do it. It's a lust. It's a lust, but we'll get into that. Read. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. No, carry on doing it. And offend less. We have to offend less. Bit by bit, chopping it down. Alright, since we understand you're gonna struggle, but if you commit yourself, you uh, sis, commit yourself. Don't let, allow the because Satan could use your own family, he could use your own friends to just take you away. So you have to come back to God's commandments. Sis. Read the laws, check out the flyer, you watch us on YouTube, you come to the school, we got a school in London. Yes, sis, we got a school, the information's on the bottom of the flyer. Call us and get in contact and change your life. Because these good, are you right, so Israel United Christ, okay, my name's Uziel, okay, we've got everything set up for you, sis, but you have to come in order. So for example, before you come to the school, you have to put on a dress. Right. When the scriptures are coming out, you have to put on a head wrap. Right. You can't carry with a pork sandwich, you'll throw right. it away, you'll right. throw it in the bin. That's what we do, sis, because we have an uh, order that we are following Christ. Do you love, do you love Christ? All right. Um, John 14, 15. I, I, I like what he says, because not many of our people can say, I love my black Jesus. Because all of us think this image is the image of Christ. But in your mind, it seems like you've got that act out. That's good. But listen to this. Wait, one more, one more script. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. One more script. One more script. 14, 15. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my... He said, if, if. Me in a stipulation if you love me. Keep my commandments. If you love Christ, what would you do, sis? Keep the commandments. That's what we have to do, black man, black woman. Keep the commandments. My question, I ain't forgot. What's your statement? Right. No what, sis? What you've got today is more than what a lot of people get in their entire lives in the Christian church. You've learned more laws than you learn in the Christian church in five minutes. Check out the flyer, get yourself right with the most high. Because it's, this is one more thing, destruction is coming on earth. It's a hundred percent coming. It's starting. You see all the rumors of wars, you've seen all the infighting, you've seen all of the prophecies happening. So we have to make haste. One more step, one more step. Psalms 119. Uh, 59 and 60. We have to do it, sis. We, we ain't got a choice. It's either you keep commandment, you keep God's commandment and live, or follow Satan and sin and you die. We don't want to do that, sis. We want you to live. We want your soul to carry on forever. 
Because kingdom of heaven means rulership. That means you ain't got to work no more. That means you ain't got to go through oppression no more. That means you ain't going to have broken households no more. That means you're going to be rulers of the earth. So to black man and black woman and Hispanic. Hmm. Psalms 119 verse 59. I thought on my way. So you thought on your way. You walked past. You saw brothers with the mic talking loud. And you said, let me see what they're going to say. So you thought on your way. Okay, well, this is good for you. Can you already read? And turn my feet unto thy testimonies. Keep those commandments. Mm -hmm. I made haste. No, I, I took my time. I made haste. David made haste, meaning he was quick. Do you understand that, sister? You've got to be quick in keeping those commandments. So that's the message, sis. Keep those commandments, change your ways, and check out the flyers, get in contact, sis. We've got a lot that we can provide for you, but you must keep those commandments. Try your best, sis. All right? Well, Maureen, Maureen, have a good day. Maureen, keep us We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.